Cryotherapy for Xanthalasma Cryotherapy is the use of freezing gases, in the hope of destroying the cholesterol cells which are the main ingredients of xanthalasma. The underlying simple issue with cryotherapy frostbite technique is that there is no precision with this treatment, so the technical aspect of the gas, is its uncontrollable nature, however find the tip for application. Most patients think about this treatment because it is not associated with being too painful, even if there is tissue destruction or loss, but in many cases it has a very high relapse rate and is therefore known to be a little more complicated to treat the new xanthalasma plaques that have resulted from the initial treatment. Surgical excision is one of several treatments that are frequently performed to significantly reduce the risk of relapse. This treatment does not seem to be as effective in treating the lesion and often causes xanthalasma lesions to grow back earlier. When you need surgical intervention because of a different initial treatment, the futile nature of this treatment starts to be such that people will shy away from this technique. Xanthalasma and Cryotherapy Erythema, which occurs after cryotherapy treatments, disappears quickly and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is rare. The skin lesions clot randomly with the cold, so the downtime, the time is shorter, although the risk of reinfection increases. If a scalpel or cryotherapy intervention is not your thing, then xanthal is your best option. One treatment, and it will remove your xanthalasma and stop any regrowth. It doesn't leave a scar, which is associated with so many of the other possible treatments available on the market. Cryotherapy Xanthalasma Treatment Cryotherapy is the process of freezing cells in the skin during growth, and growth is essentially a collection of cells that contain a fluid. When you freeze at a low enough temperature, the liquid freezes and turns into liquid. When enough cells are broken or damaged, they form a scab, like crusts that fall off. This is how the membrane, outer layer, of the cells is broken and killed, causing growth to stall. Similar to a treatment with a CO2 laser, the cholesterol is mixed with the healthy cells after the destruction of the skin cell walls, hence the nature of relapse is obvious within this approach. Cryosurgery can also be useful to treat other types of warts, such as acne, psoriasis and other selected cases of skin cancer, but this should only be performed by the most experienced cryosurgeons, surgeons and biopsies must be performed to confirm the diagnosis histologically prior to cryosurgery. After a look, your doctor may suggest the most appropriate treatment for your condition. There are a number of medications that can help treat your condition, but there may still be scarring after removal. High levels of persistent recurrence and discoloration of the skin is a side effect with treatment for xanthalasma with cryotherapy. Xanthal can be used to easily remove your xanthalasma, with none of the issues associated with cryotherapy. Xanthal is a one-application treatment for xanthalasma, that you can perform at home. For more help and advice go to xanthalasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.